Hello everybody and welcome to this beautiful little area next to a mill. Let's see what this place has to offer. Nice little stream here. Hello little birdies. Oh, I heard someone there. Brewmaster student. Hello traveller. I am trying to memorise how to follow this mystical brew recipe. I absolutely must get it right to advance in my brewmaster's exam. For the life of me, I can't recall the correct process. So, this is a spirituality one. I think we have a couple of items we can put on to improve that. So this is minor spirituality, so we want to take the cane off. This is a plus spirituality, so we can stick that one on. And I think that'll do. But how much is it going to cost? Three. Do we have three? I think we do. Yes, we do. Brilliant. So, there's another person help. I guess I might just earn my head apprentice title after all. Thank you, friend. As long as I don't forget what you said. Oh, pupil's mantle. Two pockets. Oh, plus one mechanical. Nice. Oh, but we're filling up with so many clothes. So this shirt gives us two speed. Very useful for combat. And it gives us a pocket. This one doesn't give us any speed, but it does give mechanic. Which we don't have much of. I hear some of the little creature things. What a beautiful forest. Well, if it's an orchard, maybe we'll find some apples to pick. Bit of scrumping. Oh, there's some kids here. Looks like they might be building a tree house. Hey, Nomad, want to help us? We're going to build the greatest tree house ever. We've got enough wood, but we need more nails still. Any old nail will do. Oh, I sometimes pick up nails. So let's remember that these kids are here. Don't think I've got any at the moment. No, nope, no nails at the moment. But we can come back here and help the kids. That does bring me to another thing. If I pin here. Now we can always check and we'll know where we need to go. Ooh, zoom out even more. Now the Traveller's Meadow, that's from where the Kickstarters can go. Now I'm not actually a Kickstarter, I'm a backer kit. But I think we are able to go that way. Well, we will see. We're in the orchard at the moment. Now, I do want to head west. I was told if you head west and I'd hear singing and they would be able to help me to learn how to read the knots. But first, let's have to explore this forest. But yes, I'm feeling much safer with a sword at my side and the ability to use it. Looks like we are going to get some fruit. Mm, discoloured pears, but they're edible. Just because something might not look pristine doesn't mean it doesn't taste good. Oh, looks like we've got another traveller. House Plen. Oh, who are you? We protect our ward from danger, not from conversation. Okay, so you're the guard. Where's the baronet? Botanist. Greetings, wayworn traveller. I'm on a quest to pick a grand bouquet of flowers in the colours of the Honourable House of Pelgan. My family is presently hosting an official family reception, and only fresh flowers for our house colours will do. It is tradition that the youngest highborn baronets of the house perform this duty. For each flower I pick, I am considered a point of responsibility or duty that is demanded of me to those in the house. I must really get on with my flowers. Anything with white petals will claim it. Ooh, white petals. I can't trade with you, but I guess you need to be the one who picks it. Ooh, nice apples. Nothing like a bit of scrumping. Beautiful area, though. Looks like those mountains are off to the right-hand side, and gorgeous. The game is certainly getting mixed reviews. Some people 
absolutely adore it like I do. And some people, it's just not for them. It's definitely a game you need to have the right mindset to walk into. It's not a game you need to be rushing or really have a set goal for. You're just there looking at the story, being part of it. It's a large area. Be fun exploring. Ooh, something there and there. We're gonna get wet, but never mind. Leather headband. And here, jade algae. I'm guessing that's gonna be another reagent. Add some more jade algae. Yeah, we're a little wet. Never mind. Ooh, barely ripe pears. They will be a little more tart than the usual. But those that are younger and less ripe do travel better because they tend to be much harder. pears and more apples. Ooh, that didn't look like a nice apple. Yeah, worm eating apple. Not many people are going to be wanting that. Ooh, that's a new flower. Char mustard. Yep, yeah, some more there. New one I've come across. Perplexed hunter. What are you perplexed about? I'm tracking a very peculiar animal wanderer. It is the shape of a deer, and that's where the similarities end. I have heard rumours from other forest folk of animals behaving oddly recently. There is a reason to be extra careful in the woods these days. That is especially true after dark. Ooh, so enter here after dark and we could see something interesting. We may just have to do that. Now that we have a little bit of combat skills, we can put that to the test and likely fall flat on our backsides. But we're not going to get anywhere if we don't try. Well, we may as well have a little sit down and a cup of tea. <laughs> Grab an apple. Oh well, another wormy one. fireplace here. Let's start a fire. Dry off a bit. Hungry. Well, we've got plenty of fruit in our packs, so what should we eat? I don't want the worm-eaten apples. Let's have the discoloured. It's giving us some extra energy. And yeah, let's have a little bit more than just that. Let's have some smelly sardine. There we go. Energy's up a lot more now. Muro Crossing. Let's check that out. Love the weeping willows. Very pretty. All dry now. Oh, some more apples. Hopefully they're not wormy. And they're wormy. Well, that explains why they've been left on the tree. Should we go that way? Go on, let's have a little look, see what's that way first. 
Oh wow, isn't this pretty? Let's see what we can find down here. Pretty clear. And we've got a place called the Friendly Arm coming up. Okay, apparently this rock is the friendly arm. Ah, I suppose because it gives shelter. Oh, look. Are there any babies I can cuddle? They look like some sort of auroch or bison. There's a sheep over here too. Oh, it's usually just the baby animals I'm allowed to cuddle. Well, anyone who wants a cuddle gets one. Oxen farmer. The, what on earth is happening to that sheep over there? No? You good? Maybe it got stuck in the brambles. Ah, here we go. Here's someone. Travelling hunter-gatherer. Let's see, you have some goods. Ooh, you're actually valuing your stuff a little bit lower. So that's a good thing to trade. And you like lots of my other stuff. You're not keen on the apples, that's fair enough. No, he's got some good stuff and I like that he's priced cheaper, but mm, no. Nothing that we can really trade at the moment. <laughs> Sheep crossing the bridge. They're starting to travel quite far now. Western Harvest Route. I wonder where that will lead to. Uh, Western Verve. Oh, that was the junction we came from. Okay, yeah, let, let's head over to the junction. And then we've obviously got crossroads there as well. So, yeah, that should... That route should take us to the junction. Oh, little brown sheep. All the cuddles. Oh wow, look at the mist over the water. Oh, there's something over there. Ah, it's just it's probably just she seashells. Don't really want to get wet again. Oh, that on the other hand is goodies. Yeah, those are good things. Good for trade. So if I'm right, this should lead up to the Verve's train station. Yes, I was right. Go back to the train station. Ooh, if I remember correctly as well, there's a guy over here that collects all the lost and found stuff. So let's see what he's got at the moment. Nope, nothing for us. However, there is a dog. Oh, we won't let us pet it. Never mind. Now, if you give me a moment, we'll skip to the night. And darkness falls. Well, looks like we won't be checking what goods are offer from the trader, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're going to see what adventures we can find. Ooh, interlocking mechanism part. That will be an endeavour. Let's see. Do we have what's needed? Five. I don't think we have five. We do not have five. However, I have equipped our light, which should help us, well, should stop us from losing, I think it's energy. So let's retrace our steps and see how things change at night. Hopefully things aren't too dark for everybody. I do like the atmosphere at night. We are still going to stick to the road. We're not going completely crazy. <laughs> it should be interesting to see if we find anything new. Or maybe get to test out our sword again. 
Speaking of, actually, let's have a little look at our equipment and make sure we're ready for a fight. So those are our battle shoes. And if we see a fight coming up, we need to swap our light for our, our bright oak cane. Oh, I love the ambience. Keep an eye for any good loot that might be on the floor. Ooh, what's this? Occupied person. Let's just have a quick change of our equipment, just in case. Hey, Wanderer. I've got this box. It's come stuck here. If you can get it open, I'll let you have what's inside, except for the ivory key. That belongs to me. What do you say? Sure. Oh, it's a strength-based one. Three. Maybe we can push up to three? No, we can only push up to one. Let's swap over to our light. Sorry there, friend. Order. Oh yeah, the kids were looking for some nails. Maybe trade some wormy apples for it. Ooh, this gives two ward without any sort of negative. No, let's just go for the nail. There we go. Vile vendor. Looks like all the traders are travelling at the moment. No, I think we're good. So what adventures have other people had during the nights? I know there's a lot of different encounters you can have in this game, and most people only get a small fraction of them. So it's great fun hearing what other people have encountered during their travels. Travelling not binder. Huh. You can transform into different animals. Oh, that would be a lot of fun. Oh, okay. These are probably the most expensive things I've seen so far, but that sounds like so much fun. We managed to get the sword. We can get that eventually. Bitter Road Warden. Well, you're a warden, so you should be safe. You just might not be happy. Good day, wanderer. We road wardens patrol the old road and beyond, safeguarding merchants and travellers. Many seasons of walking has taught me a thing or two about wayfaring. I have such a skill to share should you be interested. May I suggest a trade? OK, let's see what you've got. Yes. Soul of the Road Warden. There is something about walking along a road that is uplifting to your very core. Roads should be free and safe for all to travel. Civilization depends on it. Gives you a bonus to your ward when walking on roads. Oh, full ward. That's very interesting. And it's pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah that seems like a really good trade. There we go. Hello, Wanderer. Talking all day to my students, I keep forgetting if I've introduced myself. Skiff Bat Osom is my name. Oso. I'm a journey aspirant striving to earn the rank of candidate. I am from the city Oso by the canal. As a stranger to this land, you might be familiar with Bahat. It basically means from. Ah, there it is. Soul of the Road Warden. But we don't have... Oh, it's free. Oh, that is really good. Yeah, it's completely free to learn. So while we're on the road, we've actually got four extra ward. Oh, but it takes dandelion and olive leaves. Do we have any olive leaves? 
I'm not seeing any olive leaves. So we'll have to keep an eye out for them. That will then allow us to but definitely bump up our defence while we're on the road at least. Jeez, four ward extra. That is really nice. So here we are coming up to the woods. Let's see what awaits us in there. 